Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Quackshot starring Donald Duck for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. In the last episode, we went after Pete so we could get the Viking Diary back. And now, we're kind of in Pete's domain. We have these platforms. We have the way for them to just fan in and out. And then we got to get to these platforms. We got to get from one set of platforms to the next. And you just kind of have to figure out where they all go. And where the next set is. So that way. You can easily get across these bombless pits. I like this. But I can see why this can be a bit harrowing for some gamers. Especially since you kind of have to position yourself and, you know, kind of keep yourself from doing dumb things just to ensure that you get through here. Just don't panic. Pay attention to stuff. Never hold down. And I think you should be able to do okay here. Okay. Alright. Now on this last set of platforms. You have to hold A. Run to the right. And jump to the right just to get to here. I barely made that because I barely botched the timing on that. But I made it. Now for this part. Want to get up here past the spikes. Wait for this guy to shoot his bomb. Get some. There we go. We want to shoot the green plunger at the wall. So that way we can get over here. Avoid the guys that are flying around. Make sure that guy is above us, so that way we can jump over to here. And then we no longer have to deal with the guy who sucks in his gut. By the way, if you hit him with two popcorn rounds, when his gut is out and he's facing you, both times when you shoot him with the popcorn, he goes down. Finally found out how to defeat him. Not like you'll ever really find much of a opportunity to do so, you'll more likely be avoiding him than anything else, but in case you ever have to defeat him, well, there it is. And now that you go down this quarter, shoot down these turtle guys before they hide in their shells. Try not to get shot by this guy. And then hold right on the control pad so that way we can get across when the Elevator lowers. Jump over this pit. Want to be careful here. These guys do... These guys do drop popcorn shots as well as... What is it? The chicken. Have to avoid that guy at the very top. And then we'll finally meet Pete. You want to be careful when you're getting the chicken from these guys because there's a possibility you could drop down and get hit by another enemy as soon as you try to get back up. Approach Pete, you'll start this boss battle. If you defeat me, I'll give you the map and the Viking Diary. Ha ha ha. And from here, we can use either the popcorn or the bubble gum. I'm going to use the bubble gum first. Try not to get hit by that guy. And then try to make my way up without getting shot. Get rid of that guy. I believe you want to shoot Pete, what, 12 times?
and you want to avoid being under him at all times so that way you don't get hit by the crusher that this guy has. Because I can only imagine that being absolutely awful. If he were to crush you... Okay. Need to figure out where he is and quick. Okay, he kind of followed us there. And he may go over there next. Where is he going to go? What to say? And I'm trying to slide under this guy, but I can't seem to do it. Well, we'll ever go over here. You better go over there. There we go. Oh, he decided to change direction on me. Well, that was something. Well, he sure showed me, but I sure showed him. And now, I think if I go down here again, I may be, yeah. He'll definitely try to take the shortest route towards me just to get to me. And now he just double backed again. Now, what if I did it this way? Oh, no. Oh, that can't be good. I can't have him near me. Now, which direction is he going to go? Okay. Time to use the popcorn. And it's a good thing I managed to switch to the popcorn. Got him with just one hit left. And... Donald gets the Viking Diary back. Now, to leave this room, you have to select the diary now that you have it back and either use, use or look. It's the ancient Viking Diary. The diary reveals that the map must be dipped in water. When this is done, the location of the real treasure will appear. Let's try dipping it in water. And we dip it in water. Let's go to the Great Duck Treasure Island. Where is the water that we dipped this in? I'm surprised I didn't question this last time. But here we are. We're going to the island, the final area of the game. And we need to switch to the plunger. Now, once we go to the right, we better be ready to avoid that block. There will be two snakes approaching us as we go further up here. And then we're going to have to deal with the leaf platforms. Got to jump from one to the other, hopefully without falling into a pit. I'm avoiding all those power-ups because they will, it will not do me any good to try to get those. I'll probably more than likely die rather than survive after getting those. So these platforms, these leaf platforms, they move back and forth. When you jump on them and land on them, they will fall on your weight. You can control where they go a little bit by holding left or right on the control pad, which is useful here. And I'm surprised I've made those jumps. Let's go ahead and use the green plunger to stop these snakes. And from here, it's time to get on the breakaway platforms and keep heading right. Now for this first set, you want to jump before the first set in this pair to the left breaks. If you don't jump, you won't get on this platform. And you're going to die. Keep holding right here. You don't have to jump, but I did it anyway to get here. One, two, three. And then one, two. After the first set of platforms, did you have to drop two to get to another platform, another P 
rocky set of ground, I guess. You don't have the jump after that first set, but I do it anyway. And for these, you want to jump off the very edge of these things. Otherwise, you're not going to have enough time with these exploding vines. If you land anywhere other than the edge and don't quickly jump off, you're going to die. Learn that the hard way the first time I played this game. And now we are in the temple. Let's get over here. Ow. Not what I wanted to do. Wanted to wait between the fourth and fifth spear and then wait for everything to drop down uh, back into the floor before continuing. And from here, we just run to the right, grab the zip line, and now we need to deal with these enemies. These duck soldiers. If I can somehow hit them! I need to hit them in the head, and I can't seem to do it. You need to hit them in the head above their shield to stop them. The guy who jumps up the stairs, you can hit them just by ducking and shooting forward. As for the two guys that are approaching you from behind when you're near the end of this section before you can climb up, you can just run away from them. You don't have to deal with them at all. And now for some more rings of fire with... Oh, good grief. And I can't do this! I did this okay when I wasn't talking and playing at the same time. I can't do it now. Good grief. Well, I lost a life here finally. And I don't feel like restarting the video. There we go. Now I can do it apparently. And that guy can just hit while I'm just making my way up. Well, then again, I never promised that this would be no death. Still, that's just... Ugh. Well, at least I have more health coming in. Let's make sure I don't mess this up. Okay. Slide down here. And then, and then we get to deal with more... Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use invulnerability to get past you. And then use the green plunger to get up this moving wall. Eventually, this wall will come to another set of spikes. We need to jump to the left. And we will eventually have to get to another moving wall. There, we found it. Now we need to for the, wait for this thing to move back to the left. Here's what we're going to do. There's an opening upwards. We shoot a green plunger. We jump towards it, just like that. And we use the green plungers to cl climb our way up. Slide to the right. And here we are. We are now in the final room of this area. And before I forget... I mentioned at the end of the last video that there was a certain part of this level, the final stretch of the game, that stole assets, that had, or rather had assets stolen, I should say, by a bootleg Chip and Dale game that was made for the Asian Mega Drive systems. That part with all of the leaf platforms as well as the follow-away floors that we had to jump to the right to, you know, kind of get off of, as well as the exploding vines, that whole part, the first part of the island, that part had its assets stolen for that bootleg Chip and Dale game, that pirate Chip and Dale game, and... I should really put a link to a video 
that has that level in it just to show you, hey, this <laughs> that's where this came from, apparently. But anyway, we're now on the final stretch of the temple. Once we go through this area, we will end the game. We will find the treasure and we will end the game. Spoiler alert, the treasure is beyond this area here. But that will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time where we wrap this game up. Join me next time for the finale. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!